Hi everyone, this video is going to talk about President Trump's latest proclamation banning Chinese students and researchers from coming into the United States. What are the parameters of this actual proclamation? We're going to go through them in this video. Hi, I'm Andrea Shev, and I'm the managing attorney at Shev Law Group in Los Angeles, California. I've been an immigration attorney for over 17 years, and I put together these videos to give you short, concise, and reliable information on all types of immigration issues. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell so you're notified next time a video comes out. Please also don't forget to comment below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you have and also make sure you tell me any other videos that you would like me to do in the future. All right, let's talk about President Trump's latest proclamation banning Chinese students and researchers from coming to the United States. This is not as broad as people might have believed it is. A lot of the news media put out that President Trump has actually banned all Chinese students and researchers, and that is really not the case. So let's go through in this video the actual parameters of the proclamation that President Trump put into place last week. First and foremost, for students, it does not apply to undergraduate students. It only applies to people with master's degrees that they're going after or higher education. It does not apply to undergraduate students. So that's one of the clarifications that's super important when you're looking at if you fall under this new proclamation that bans entry of Chinese students. The second major limitation on the proclamation that President Trump put into place limiting the visas to Chinese nationals, not only students, but also researchers, is that it only applies to Chinese nationals that are associated with entities in China that implement or support China's military civil fusion strategy. It does not apply any more expansive than that. It only is for Chinese nationals applying for student visas or for J visas that have that connection to certain Chinese entities. Now there's also other exemptions to the actual proclamation and let's go through those now. It does not apply to undergraduate students. It only applies to graduate level and higher students and researchers. It doesn't apply to lawful permanent residents of the United States or spouses of United States citizens or lawful permanent residents. It also doesn't apply to U.S. Armed, Force, armed Forces or any foreign national as a spouse or a child of a member of the U.S. Armed Forces. As you can see, there's many limitations, not only the fact that it's limited to people that are associated with a certain entities in China, but it also does not relate to a number of other individuals that might be applying for an F visa or a J visa. Now remember, one major factor you have to take in consideration is that if you do fall within the parameters of this particular proclamation, if you already have an F visa or a J visa, you could have that visa actually revoked if you fall within these parameters. So it's not just for people that are applying as new applicants, but also for people that already have a J or F visa. It's critical for you to know that. I hope this video was helpful. And if you liked the video, don't forget to make sure you subscribe or make sure you, you know, hit that bell so you're notified the next time a video comes out. Also, don't forget to comment below and leave me any comments that you have about not only this proclamation, but anything else or any questions that you might have. I'd love to answer them. Please stay safe and stay healthy and talk to you next time.